We will go ahead today and uh, focus on the about the report, the Special Petroleum Revenue Task Force. But yes, before uh, we touch on that, we'll uh, introduce our guest. Mr. Fahim Bar joins us now. He's the Managing Director of Capital Oil. Thank you for coming on this morning. Thank you. Thank you very much. And it's interesting. Uh, we'll start off from where, uh, I mean, uh, the last time this matter came up when, was when the uh, CEO of uh, Kostraris was here. And he brought up some allegations against yourself, uh, some allegations which was also written. And uh, perhaps you want to start from that. What's going on between yourself and him? Because he says $21 billion is involved in this matter. Well, um, you know, oil and gas is um, a big money business. Um, in um, oil and gas business, um, $21 billion doesn't scare anybody. But the most important thing is how it will get to 21 billion. Uh, in my normal sense of justice um, or convention, I don't think uh, um, Dr. Madoka is representing the fact. And I don't think also um, Dr. Madoka is himself because um, I don't think there's anything that warrants all this noise. Somebody's behind him. Did you do business with him? Yes. In the normal course of business, we had business. And uh, we are still in the business. But it's so bad when um, people, politicians, will get into somebody whom I, um, I call the big brother, an uncle, just to smear and then uh, ridicule my name before Nigerian public and masses. Um, in my normal sense of um, um, articulate, I don't think I would have been here. But um, the media campaign, the blackmail, um, has taken to the point that I couldn't wait anymore. And that's why I want to come before Nigeria masses because as at now, it, if my case with him is before God, before the court of justice, and before the Nigerian public. What happened between both of you? Um, first and foremost, um, uh, I want to extract from his utterances, his statements in the media and in the newspapers. Um, we are in business. He made um, the first paragraph of his statement is that um, he, he was helping me. He came to me May 2011. So if it's 2011, uh, it's a known fact now that it's just one year. So he has never been part of my growth. He has never been part of capital oil, tremendous achievement in the dancing sector of Nigerian economy. And I quote that capital oil today is the biggest downstream company in the Nigerian economy. And there's no doubt about it. And it's a challenge anybody can come and claim. And we didn't achieve it by being fraudsters. We didn't achieve it by being criminals. We didn't achieve it by having any conviction in any Nigerian court. So we achieved it by hard work and the grace of God. And for somebody in the, in the cal cal caliber of Dr. Cosmas Madoka, whom I have known very well, I don't think, I don't think Mr. Cosmas Madoka that I know can afford to put page adverts in newspapers, have the, have the, you know, affrontry to come before media and be talking. Something is behind it. There's politicians behind it. There are people who, I mean, I mean I'm happy he even said it, that Mr. Ike Imokode, the MD of Access Bank, hit me with a passion and doesn't want to do anything with me. He said it even in this day. So now you can now be able to find the missing link. Yes. Somebody who is the MD of a bank, where he is also a director, okay. doesn't, we, want we, to, doesn't want to have anything to do with me, even from the onset. Then how can you entrust or bless a transaction of that kind of magnitude, which he said in one day, the open LC of $380 yeah. million? You know, I also read that particular uh, <laughs> report. Uh, I was privileged to also read that. And he, he, he gave reasons why Aige uh, Mokwede, as well as uh, so many other bankers, he said some bankers, I really don't want to do business with you. He says, well, they say you, well, you, don't, um, honor, you don't honor their credit. That's what he said. <laughs> well, you know, um, he, he also said that uh, we are not bankable. And then in the report uh, that Ike's, Ike, um, um, Ike has even gone beyond his mandate by, by proving uh, the transaction we did in 2010 when we had not started business. So who did those fundings? You said we are not bankable. Nobody wants to help us. So who did those fundings that you are investigating now, which was done by other banks before us? 
you see, I would like to take them one on one on every, and then I have said something. If they, if they can prove their mandate, if they can prove their guilt or their innocence, I would like them to come before the National House of Representatives where we'll have an open parliament and then discuss this issue. It, it's, it's not an, it, it, it has gone beyond this media campaign, this blackmailing and talking, talking issues like people, women selling tomato in the market. It, 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 we are talking about economy of Nigeria. We are talking about business, oil and gas, downstream business. This is the, the biggest industry in this country. Did you, did you get a facility from Access Bank? No, I don't have any facility. We don't have a facility. Actually, I need to go straight to that point. We don't have facility. The facility we had from Access Bank was from a company that is affiliated to Capital Oil called Oil Force. And in that facility, and, and I want us to, to go back to this, um, he said that we met in May. He never knew me till May. That is what he said. Um, but I would like him to refresh his memory. Maybe he has lost his memory in, in understanding that my investment in Access Bank or my relationship with Access Bank started by my investing 900 million naira in January 3rd. I have my statement of account to prove my statement. That on the 3rd of January 2011, we invested 900 million naira as our own equity contribution in investing on a tank farm which is known today as Oil Force. And b before January, this January 3rd, uh, Assets Bank came to me and told me of their intention to sell another Igbo man tank farm that is very close to my facility. And I told them not only to sell his tank farm, to sell even his houses. And I was curious about it. It was in the December of 2010. And I went, to, I went to the man and said, look at what they are trying to do. He said, yes, he's, he's under tremendous pressure from Access Bank to, for them to win, and then that he has just devastated into upstream business so that we should know how to do And I told him that I cannot buy the facility, but if they can agree to my terms, I will be able to build the situation out. And it was even at that point that this young man called Koscharis, um, Dr. Kostmas Market, to see how he can help to persuade Aigi Mokode and uh, an assets bank not to sell his assets, to agree to my terms. And we had this, this, this discussion with Dr. Cosmas Madaka in his office, in this particular Igbo man office, in December 2010. And then from that point, we were able to remit to assets bank by 3rd of January 2010, 900 million naira, which our statement of account can be the fact. So how can somebody that the, the relationship started by investment of 900 million, how can that person turn overnight and become somebody who is helping me? If I was not bankable, where did I get the money to pay that 900 million to Assets Bank in order to acquire an asset which today anybody can testify, which I can also present documentation to, 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 to claim my fact? Okay, so your business with Mr. Maduka began in 2010. No, no, the relationship. The Your relationship. The relationship. The relationship, okay. the the relationship business relationship. He's my uncle, and I have great respect for him. Um, the relationship started, business relationship started in 2010 when mm -hmm. I invested 900 million naira in to, into Access Bank, asset. where he is a director. Okay. Now, the, is the matter on the ground issue now. Of, the issue on ground, let me go there. From that point, he came with his wife to my office. Uh, I don't know why Dr. Madoka didn't tell Nigerians that he brought Access Bank Credit Committee file to my office to show me what they are doing for people. He came to market me. 